The current system has to go through a collapse unless you believe that infinite growth is possible on a finite planet. The system is growth dependent. So there's going to be a collapse in one form or another. It could be more gentle or it could be more severe. What has to happen, though, is to change I mean, a couple things. One would be to change the agreements, the story by which money is created. Today, it, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole story, but essentially it's created uh, at the central bank level through the purchase of interest-bearing securities on the market, creating new money. And then on the next level, lending by commercial banks and other institutions that make money available for businesses and people to, to use. All of it, each of those steps generates or is accompanied by debt. When money is created, an equivalent amount of debt is created that bears interest. So more money is owed than has been created. That has to change. So there are other ways to create money. I mean, the government could just print it. People think that that's what happens now, but no. It's lent into existence. Governments borrow it into existence. But they could just make it. They could just print it. Um, or money could be created with negative interest, reversing all of the pernicious effects of usury. So I'm not going to go into the details now, but there are other, other ways to create money. The, the other really important thing that I, I've become, over the years since I've written about it, I've become more and more um, enthusiastic about is a universal basic income, which basically is a, a living wage paid to everybody regardless of their contribution to society. But essentially it says, Everybody has a share in the wealth that we've inherited, both from nature and from culture. I should not have a greater right to the benefits of Thomas Edison's inventions than you should have. You know, this was in the past. This is our cultural inheritance. So everybody then should have essentially um, a basic income that's enough to survive on. Then, so then we no longer live in a context of scarcity and you no longer have to base your life cho choices on survival. So it would unleash a tremendous flood of creativity. Like what would you do with your life if you didn't have to survive? It would also transform the economy because today you can um, operate a business understanding that there are people who will do degrading labor because they have to, to survive. So there's no design incentive to create jobs that are meaningful. That would change. If you were going to start a business, you'd have to make sure that the work you were offering people is so fulfilling, so interesting, that they would rather do that than sit in front of their television eating potato chips. And I mean, I could talk a lot about universal basic income. I mean, many people will, will object. Well, if people aren't made to be productive and to work, then they won't. They'll just sit around drinking beer. But is that true? Like, is that really who you are? It comes down to a question of human nature. I think that the human nature that we see in our current society isn't real human nature. It's the response to artificial scarcity but that who we are by nature, we are beings of the gift because we are so gifted ourselves. On some level, we understand that we didn't earn the earth. We didn't earn the sun. It wasn't through our hard efforts that we invented the ability of seeds to grow. We didn't invent water. We are so richly gifted that our default state is gratitude. You know, you didn't earn your mother taking care of you. Like that was all a gift. And because we're so richly gifted, we feel gratitude and we desire to give in turn. We desire to give it forward. Everybody, everybody is like that. If you take away all the pressures, you take away all the programming. I mean, you see this even in, you know, wealthy people who they, they have, they've gotten everything that they thought they wanted. They're making a million dollars a year. But if they're not doing something that's meaningful to them, beautiful to them, they're going to feel 
I mean, maybe you've had this experience, feeling like I'm not living my life. I'm living the life I'm paid to live, but what about my life? So this is a different dimension of human nature that we need to, to invoke. We need to um, implement. We need to create conditions for that part of human nature to blossom.